Yes, sir. The first MCU film in two years has arrived. Now let that sink in. Now does it live up to expectations? Stay tuned and find out. <laughs> Natasha Romanoff, aka Black Widow, confronts the darker past of her ledger when a dangerous conspiracy with ties to her past arises. Pursued by a force that will stop at nothing to bring her down, Natasha must deal with her history as a spy and the broken relationships left in her wake long before she became an Avenger. So let's get to the meat and potatoes of this video, and that's the review itself. And I have to start at the opening sequence. Honestly, it's one of my favorite opening sequences in all of the MCU. It did a great job diving and setting up Black Widow's backstory. And not only that, the tone of the film that it set up from the beginning was absolutely amazing. In my opinion, it made this film feel very grounded, like we're about to get a Winter Soldier type film. And to be honest, that's what I wanted, but not necessarily expecting. And I'm only talking about the opening sequence because the tone of it was fantastic. And also, after you get past the opening sequence, you get to present day. Okay, let me not say present day because this film is not taking place in present day. It's right after the events of Civil War. So that time period, like the tone of this film, like from the opening sequence and the opening portions of present 2016 Civil War, it did not feel like your typical MCU film. Like the formula was non-existent there and I and I enjoyed that. I was expecting a very formulaic film from beginning to end and it caught me by surprise. I know I keep harping on the tone, but the reason for that is to me, a character like Black Widow needs to feel different than your other MCU characters because she's more grounded, actually 100% grounded in comparison to all these godly figures. She's a human character that deals with real human issues. She has no superpowers. And you know what? I think that's where this film excels the most. Like they dive into that aspect of her, which is what they needed to do. Now let's get to the real star of this film. And to me, it's the family dynamic. This film really shine when they're dealing with the family aspects head on. Like it would make Dom Toretto proud, like dealing with family like this. <laughs> like her past is really, really screwed up and they don't just move over it. They tackle it hands on and pretty much ask the tough questions that need to be asked. And that cast, Rachel Wise, David Harbour, Florence Pugh, oh my God, they killed it. From the chemistry, the banter, the sometime tension, it all was well done. Like, I, 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 I don't know what to say besides that. Like, love the cast, love every single performance from those four. Great job. Also, you're dealing with the widows, correct? She's a spy. She has to know how to throw down. And honestly, they did a great job as far as action goes. From Taxmaster, Florence Pugh's character, Scarlett Johansson as Black Widow, their action set pieces when they're throwing down toe to toe, I, I bought it and it looked really good on screen. Honestly, it's probably one of my favorite hand-to-hand -hand combat since probably Winter Soldier and Summer Civil War as well, because you know you deal with all these godly characters, you don't get to see that aspect that much in the MCU. And I thought they did a really, really good job, and it was very believable being who she was. So it's not all sunshine. I did have some issues with the film. I did. And let's get to the elephant in the room. This film seems so out of place it's no secret a black widow film should have came out ages ago seeing this film death proves that fact the subject matter they were dealing with felt so outdated and unimportant to the larger scheme of the mcu so at some times i'm like do i really care about this because i know it's going nowhere it's a dead end and all pun intended of course <laughs> But no, all seriousness, 
this film definitely feels like a placeholder. It felt like an interlude in the album. I think this will go down as one of the biggest mistakes in the MCU. And I think Feige knows that. I believe that's why this film even exists. What I mean by that is the handling of the Black Widow character. There should be no reason why she doesn't already have a trilogy. This film feels like Feige waking up one day going like, oh, sugar honey iced tea. The Black Widow character died before even making her own film. And you know, she's the founding member of the Avengers. One of the founding members, I mean. Like, it felt so shoehorned in. Besides the end credit scene, this film does absolutely nothing for the greater scheme of the MCU. But besides that, let me get into some actual negatives I had with this film. First and foremost, the villain, Taskmaster. That character is absolutely horrendous. Like, Taskmaster has some pretty cool fight scenes, I'm not gonna lie. But the character itself was handled terribly. The choice they made on how to use the character the way they did, it left me dumbfounded. It was very predictable, and quite frankly, it was a waste. And just when you thought Taskmaster wasn't bad enough, this film actually has a main antagonist. And boy, I don't even know what to say about this character. But I'll just say this. The villains of this film felt like prior MCU villains, like phase one, phase two villains. And what I mean by that is back then, MCU villains or majority of them were just used as a tool to prop up their heroes. Like the heroes were put on this pedestal while the villains were just afterthoughts, paper thin character development, and were pretty much, you know, forgettable. And I feel that's what these villains in this film was. So now, it's the fun part. I give you my good and my bad of the film. Now it's time for me to give you a score and grade. And Black Widow earns a 7.5 score and a C grade. I think that's reasonable for this film. At the end of the day, this film definitely exceeded my expectations. I came into it expecting a complete dump fire and it was far from that. It was pretty enjoyable. And I feel like they really did a real attempt to flesh out the Black Widow character a lot more than I actually expected. But with that being said, this film was not perfect. I do feel like there is a world where if this film was released, like maybe say when Ron went to soldier time, this would have been a better film, hands down. It had its problems. I do believe she deserves better because the Black Widow character is such a rich, rich, deep character. But we got what we got and it was good enough. It does the job, I guess, if it's so one and done. But with that being said, like I do with every video, I simply ask that you subscribe, you like, you share, and comment. And don't forget to turn on that little no notification, that little bell on the top, letting you know whenever I drop a video. And until next time, peace.